Uh, your car is destroyed, but you're all smiles. An uh, incredible rally. When you had that early race crash, did you ever envision an 18th place finish? Uh, no. I think more so why we're kind of laughing and joking around is because we were in such a deep hole in the beginning after we got turned. Uh, it was just, I didn't think we were going to be able to dig ourselves out of that hole. I didn't think we were going to be able to stay on the lead lap and be on the lead lap towards the end. So uh, the fact that we were able to do that, all the guys are pretty happy that we got something out of it because towards the beginning after the first stage, I didn't think we were going to get much out of this race. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, overall though, I knew we had a lot of damage. There was, I could feel everything dragging, stuff flying off. So, uh, is what it is. We still made, I feel like made pretty good ground and we're there at the end, enough to be able to salvage a decent day with what we had. Yeah, and so we talked to Kyle Weatherman, uh, who was in the care center earlier about mm -hmm. that early race crash. And he said it looked like Brennan Poole just dumped you. Uh, I think is that what you saw? I haven't or? seen it, so I haven't watched it back just yet, but that's what it felt like, for sure. For okay. Sure. Uh, and how hard was it to kind of stay in the game? Because you're a couple laps down there for a little Sorry. bit, and we are able to get lucky dogs and get your body back into contention there. Yeah, I had a lot of damage to the front end, to say the least, so um, it definitely made it really hard. Struggling to turn, getting free into the corner, the brakes, like all the duck work was ripped out of it, so um, the brakes, I was locking up the fronts, chattering the rears, I was adjusting my brake bias. Literally, I can move it one notch, and next thing you know, I'm locking up the fronts. Move it to the back just a tick, and the rear is locking up, and we're real hopping into the corner. So it was just trying to salvage what I could with what I had. Now on the radio, you're telling the guys, uh, you know, it's not quite handling just right, and they're like, yeah, we don't think it should, because they're, yeah, 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 yeah. they're seeing what it looks yeah. like. Obviously, your first chance to see it was getting out of the car. Did you expect it yeah. to be that destroyed? I mean, I was battling with the 51 as I was door to door with 51. I looked at his car and I was like, man, he's got a lot of damage. And little did I know mine looked exactly the same. So uh, I definitely didn't think we had that that much. I knew we had a lot, but it's definitely a lot more looking on the outside right now. Well, it wasn't an ideal start tonight. The finish was pretty good. Is this a good way to build the momentum going forward? I mean, I think it's good just for points, salvaging points. That's kind of in the motion of we are right now, is just trying to get as, much, as many points as we possibly can. So uh, now you kind of go in this one knowing that it's probably going to be a mess towards the end, but uh, knowing that we were able to get some decent points out of it with how our day started, that's kind of what's big for us. And then going to the next one, Texas should be good for us. Uh, Joe, my freak chief, has ran good there with his other drivers. Texas has been one of my favorite tracks, so I think we should have a good day there. Well, congratulations on a good point tonight. Decent point today. <laughs>